run over and left to die on the side of the road. A hit and run Friday night claimed the life of a 17-year-old girl. It happened near San Joaquin and Nebraska on Tucson's west side. Tonight, the woman responsible is out of jail and the family desperately wants answers. Here is Not In Your Sides, Marcelino Benito. It happened around 6 p.m. last Friday. Ruby Martinez was walking down this stretch in Nebraska. As you can see, it's pretty dark out here. Not a lot of street lights to be found. The orange circles on the ground mark the spot where Ruby's belongings were littered across the roadway. After impact, her body would fly forward several feet and end up here. The cross marks the spot where she lay waiting for help. Hit and left on the side of the road. It's what sheriff's deputies say happened to 17-year-old Ruby Martinez. Tonight, her family tells me they're heartbroken. Es como estar esperando que abra la puerta. We're still waiting for her to walk through the door, says her father, but Ruby won't be coming back. La niña tenía destrozado todo. Her body was just destroyed and strewn along the roadway, says her family, holding back tears. Ruby was on her way to meet her boyfriend Friday evening when she was hit. The woman at the wheel that evening, Denise Torres, arrested on felony hit and run charges. She was left there like a dog, says her family. How could she just leave the scene, they ask. Deputies tell Nine on Your Side Torres returned hours later after her family convinced her to go check what or who she had hit. She had hit a 17 year old girl, and by that time, Ruby's brother tells us she was already clinically dead. That's no human. Um, even if you hit a dog, you'll stop and you'll look what you hit. She didn't. She hit my sister and dragged her all the way over here, and she still went home. It's something friends and family can't wrap their minds around. News of Ruby's death has touched everyone she knew. She was only 17 years old. She still had a lot of life to live. At just 17, she worked at Peter Piper's Pizza to help her family with money. Her friends and co-workers are already teaming together to raise money to lay her to rest. If you were sad, she'd come up and try to make you laugh, try to make you smile. That smile burnt out too soon, says her family, and now they want to make sure the person responsible faces justice. I need more answers, and they can't give it to me. Friends and family have been out here at the makeshift memorial throughout the day and into the night. Meantime, the family is working to raise funds for Ruby's funeral arrangements. They have set up a memorial fund in her honor at Wells Fargo. You can find all the information you need to donate on our website, kega9.com. We're reporting from the West Side tonight. I'm Marcelino Benito, Kega 9 on your side. If you want to help the family with funeral costs, they will also be holding a car wash fundraiser tomorrow afternoon, running from noon to 3 at the Burger King near Campbell and Irvington.